So, uh, this week I actually found a lot of uh, Hot Wheels stuff. Um, I, most of it's going to be from Target. Um, there was a few sales. Um, there was actually a sale at Meyer. Um, buy one, get one, 50% off. I bought two things that I was eyeing. But anyway, so start off with the stuff I got first in the week. I think I got these first. Um, these two vehicles. I got the t 10 Pro Stock Camaro. Um, I found this at my local Food for Less store. Um, Food Flesh is a store that's owned by Kroger, um, so they get in Kroger food and stuff. Um, I've never seen any Kroger exclusives there yet. Um, I think they only get Hot Wheels seasonally. Um, uh, they might get one in between. I think they got one in the summer. They got in a shipment in the summer, but I think they get them in Easter, maybe midsummer or so, and uh, Christmas. Um, this was there for a while, um, I'm not sure how long it was there. It's H case, so I think a few months already. Um, the next thing I got was this nice night burner. It's a treasure hunt. I'll probably be opening these. Um, I haven't really opened treasure hunts on camera in a while. Um, maybe I'll open one, but there's the logo. Um, you blow into it, it makes a whirling noise. Um, I think this is a fresh shipper that I hit. Um, I think it looked like it was went through, but, um... Yeah, I did find it. Um, I'm pretty much caught up with the regular treasure hunts, but I'll probably never find any supers, because those are really hard to find. Um, I think the Bad Bagger is the only one that I haven't found yet. I don't trade online. I, I, I'm a person-to-person, -person, you know, trader. Um, I also buy stuff at, like, if I see it at conventions, um, there's a toy convention this weekend, and I'm gonna try to film it actually. Um, I have that little camera I showed like last week, I think, and I found out how to take out the lenses, so I'll probably be wearing my camera when I go through it. If you guys want to see what it is, um, it's in Bridgeview, Illinois. Um, it's not that big, but um, they'll have a lot of people there, I guess. Um, this is the last one of the year as well. Um, Okay, so I got those at Food Fest. The next bunch are going to be from Walmart. Um, I went to Walmart after work, um, I think late Wednesday night, because I went there, this is like 20 minutes from work, um, 20 minutes away from work, um, going the other direction. It wasn't on the way home or anything. But, um, yeah, I, f I found the Ghostbusters car. I went to this Walmart mainly because I didn't have to go to work the following day, so it wasn't going to be that bad if I went out of the way. And I got the whole Ghostbusters set, everything. Um, here's the uh, bread box one. I'm probably going to show these again, because I always do a video if I buy the whole set. Um, Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Um, they say people are scalping these. I only found one. Luckily I did go there, otherwise I probably wouldn't find this. Um, I went to another Walmart, my go-to Walmart, um, on Saturday, which is technically today, I guess. Um, they didn't ha I don't think they ever got a new Hot Wheels this week, or since the last time I've been there. Um, I was kind of looking for these. Um, I was going to try to buy my brother a set, but this is the only one I'm missing. But, um, yeah, if you, if you can't find this, don't worry about it, because you can buy the... Five dollar adult line one, that retro one, because people are already selling these on Am uh, eBay, and, and they're selling it for the same price as the high end version. So just buy the high end version, and you won't have to uh, pay for a stupid dollar car. But it's still pretty cool. Um, when I do the video, I'll t I'm I actually open mine. So a lot, I see a lot of people don't open theirs, but um, yeah, I'll probably buy two of these maybe, and then I'll probably compare. Um, this one to the uh, retro line. Um, next one is this one. Drift Tech. This is probably the only way uh, Hot Wheels will get people to buy the shitty cars. Because, you know, I never heard of this casting really. Um, here's the card art. Uh, Audacious. Which is actually pretty cool. It looks like a, that Subaru that came out. Pretty nice. Um... We got this one, Battle Spec. This comes out from time to time. I think there's actually a, a Target Retro that came out. Um, next one, Spec Tight. Um, next one is gonna be whatever the hell this one, Phantasm. 
pretty nice. And the last one from the Ghostbusters is Power Rocket. Now there are eight, there are eight cars in the set, and like I said, the Ecto is going to be the hardest one to find. Okay, um, next thing I found, I found actually two of these, but I left it behind. Um, this is the winning formula, which is a treasure hunt for a case. So I may open, uh, have a treasure hunt opening video maybe, because I got two now. Um, I bought this a few months ago, actually. So, um, I'd have to check the packaging and, uh, see which one I can open. Um, yeah, it's not that great of a casting, um, or did I open it already? I'm not sure. Um, yeah. I, I might try, like, if I only get one copy, I'd probably just open it, because some of those aren't even worth anything. Um, next thing I found, I found another 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. We'll get to more of that later. Um, yeah. So there's actually a adult line series coming out, Car Culture. And that's one of the cars that people are buying the fuck out of. It's a pretty nice car. Um, I only found three of these so far this year. Uh, main reason I've been buying up a couple... Actually, I don't think I found three. I'm supposedly getting one in the mail from a contest that I won. Um, it was just a giveaway on Instagram. I uh, haven't gotten it yet. Maybe there's delays, but, um, yeah, hopefully no one steals it off the porch. I did get some packages today. More on that later. Um, yeah. So, technically I only found two, but I'm getting another one in the mail. That's pretty nice. Um, I already got one of those opened. Next, I found a kit. I might keep one carded. Um, it depends on which one's bad. I think I... Bought one at K Day, and that's probably the one I'm gonna keep carded, because this was in a dump bin. Um, around Christmas time, Walmart still strategically put the dump bins everywhere. Um, I think they might get up to four dump bins. Um, they have them down like the, well, in my area they have them down the main aisles by seasonal and by toys, um, and, and then they might have one in the back aisles by toys. Um, and they also might have them by sporting goods, by bikes and stuff. It, it depends on your store. Um, where I got this from, it was actually in a dump bin by the checkouts. And, uh, yeah, I've seen that once before. Um, one of my local stores actually had them in the self-checkouts. You probably wouldn't even see it. Um, next one. I had to buy another one. I couldn't find the one I bought, like, two weeks ago. It's a little 78 Dodge Little Red Express truck. Pretty nice. It's a cool casting. I like to collect it. It's yellow. Um, next one. This is the other one I couldn't find, so I bought a new one. 64 Lincoln Continental. Um, this is the art car series. So I'm going to keep this carded until I get at least all 10 letters. Um, irregardless of the uh, uh, color variations. I just want to do a, a video with just the 10 cars. On the next series I got from Walmart are these uh, holiday hot rods. Um, they, they've been doing these every year since I've been collecting. Um, I'm going to do a video, but I, I forgot a car and I didn't know this. There are five cars, but there's one that it's not counted as the five, and that's that one. Look at this one first. Saber. It's got Santa Claus on it. Um, let's see. Um, last They released this one last year. It's a Happy New Year car. And it actually cost more than these did. I think it was $2? Or maybe it was more than last year. Um, I don't know if it was released in 2016 or 2015. It's pretty nice. Um, people like this because it opens your pop or beer. Um, very. I, I don't think a lot of people buy pops with uh, tops anymore. You know, the, the glass bottles. Um, next one is this one, Bedlam. I never had Bedlam, so it's okay that I got it. Looks like, uh, maybe like an El Camino. Small, truck-like vehicle. Pretty nice. Um, Purple Passion. It's a casting that I think a lot of people collect. I don't see any real cars in this set. I think last year they had some real cars. Half the cars were real. Um, we got Monster Dairy Delivery. I think a lot of people like this one. I'm okay with it, I guess. Um, I wish they had regular dairy delivery. Um, I don't think they've released that in years. At least in the main line. Or in any of these cheap dollar lines. It's pretty nice. 
Now that's pretty much, I think, all the stuff I got from Walmart. Let me see if I can put all these aside because I got other stuff that's going to take over the table. Now the next stuff is going to be mostly Target. I'll tell you which ones that aren't um, after I put these cars away. I take pictures after I'm done with my videos and I put them on my uh, Facebook page. Um, I have a special page where everybody can add it. It's called United States Collecting. So, um, yeah, it's on Facebook. Um, but anyways, we'll start off with the Meyer stuff that I got. I may do a video on these because I got other stuff to compare this to. Uh, Dark Knight Batmobile. These are buy one, get one 50% off at Meyer. Um, this is real nice. It's fully detailed. And it, it looks a lot better than that cheap-ass dollar one that Hot Wheels makes. And I got, like, three vehicles to compare it with. Or two, actually. Um, next is this Batmobile. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if there's a moving cockpit feature. Um, that cover might move over there. Um, these were the two that I saw that I liked. Um, I don't plan to buy the whole series. Um, I think just this one and this one. Um, don't care much for that one. But they're all cool. Um, I did get the TV series Batmobile. I probably won't even get that either. This is actually a boat that you attach to the back of it. Um, yeah. So they had everything, all, all these Hot Wheels on sale, 50% off, buy one, get one, at Meijer. Um, it may have been a weekend sale. Um, anyways, that's the last of the Meijer stuff. Um, we're heading over to Target. Um, every Target, or a lot of Targets in my area are starting to get those uh, little uh, shippers, those little red shippers. And they're down every aisle almost, or every other aisle. And you might want to check out throughout the departments. Because I've seen them by Seasonal, Electronics, and uh, yeah, throughout Toys. So check pretty much it wherever you think they'd be. Um, and th they've been putting a lot of new stuff. A lot of times they reuse them, I think. Um, this is Rigor Motor. Pretty cool, it's a Halloween car. Um, it's actually in this Fright Car series. Pretty cool. Um, I had one of these as a kid and I liked it since then. Uh, it's a C case car. Um, next one is a Hitting Dodge Charger SRT. Um, wasn't sure if I wanted this, but um, I like the tampa work on it. It's pretty cool. Not sure if this is a mistake or anything, but you got that weird speckled paint like it was used, to, like a sponge was used to paint it. I don't know, it looks kind of similar. similar to the paint on the car. Um, next one, 68 Mustang. This is one of those tuned ones, you know, where they're distorted and shit. Um, yeah, I, I already have a casting of it from like years ago. Um, it's okay looking car. Doesn't look too bad. I think my still has a line that's just like that. Um, next one is a boom car. It's a new model, so this is gonna get a video. It's from the Ride On series. Um, and I'll probably put a minion in it to display it. Too bad it didn't have a spring so you can shoot it out. Because it's like a, a cannon. It's pretty nice. Um, let's, or does it? You know, it looks like it might even have a feature. Because it shows like you move it and it explodes out. Yeah, I might have to use two different figures because those minions may or may not be too big. You know, maybe it just shows the person just flicking it with their finger. That might hurt, actually. Um, well, these are coming back out. I found a bunch of these. Um, I found one on, was it Friday, I think? And then I found, a, like, three or four of these at uh, Target. Um, I'm not sure how much these have changed. I think the paint might be a little different. Like, the, the base, I know, looks a lot different compared to the one I have. The card art's still the same. Um... You don't have that stupid new for 2017, or 16 on it. So if you couldn't find it then, um, hit up Target to find these. Um, next thing I got, custom Oh one Acura Integra GSR. Um, kind of, the paint job was kind of cool. Um, it kind of confuses me because when they reuse the paint job like that, the Tampa design, um, I almost think I like have it already because I have another car. I don't know if it was a Honda S2000 or something. They had the same paint scheme. 
Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about it, but it's real cool and you have a whole bunch of them. It looks nice. Um, next thing, um, I didn't really know anything about this car. It's a new model, a uh, Sky Dome. It might have a moving part. I think the dome probably opens. It's from, yeah. I'll say more about it probably on, uh, let see the opening. On when I do the video, I have a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe I'll, I, I might film them on the weekend and try to catch up that way. Because I can't film them during the week. Um, next one is the Art Car Series. Uh, Drifta. This was a Super in 2016. I think a new model in 2017. Um, it's letter A. Real small A on there. Wish it was bigger. Because I put my cars on the wall. And you probably can't even see that A. Um, next thing, I pretty much like the Tample more on it than the vehicle itself. It's Aeropod. It's pretty cool, I guess. Um, it looks like a garbage truck, maybe, or it could be a futuristic, um, emergency vehicle or something like that. But the main reason I liked was the Tamples, the SWAT Tamples. Um, they've used that type of, uh, scheme a few years ago when they made a Super Vam like that. Um, I found this. I actually have two. Let me get the other one. I'll probably keep one carded. Um, this is the Mystery Machine. I didn't find a Super, but I have two regular ones. So one of these are going to be opened. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll just open this one. It's already bust. You can see that crease on there. Uh, yeah. and I, since I have two, I can take a picture of one. Um, so we'll look at it. Yeah, it's a pretty nice vehicle. I've liked Scooby-Doo since a kid. Um, they showed the old cartoons on Nickelodeon, and that's how I used to watch it. Um, yeah, they've revived the show a bunch of times, um, and they messed it up a bunch of times. Um, I think I saw a new reincarnation that they changed everything, the character design and everything. But I think mo throughout its lifespan, most of the characters have, you know, they may have changed the clothes or the design of their clothes but they always look the same yeah it's a pretty cool vehicle I had a chance to buy the uh, retro line but I'm not sure if I'll do that um, it'll probably be better than the super treasure hunt because if you can't even find the super the retro line can get your back um, because it probably looks just like it just you know it's just harder to find Actually, they're both probably pretty hard to find, but I've seen a, one on the pegs at my Walmart for a while. Okay, let's see. I think I did do everything. Okay. Um, next is this one. Uh, Fast Cash. This one, I had some doubts on it. Um, if I wanted it or not, but I bought it. Um, this was released a few months ago. Um, this is the 2017 version. Yeah, it shows you can use it as a money clip on here. Yeah, I think when I was a kid, I always used money clips the wrong way. I used to get them out of, like, gumball machines. I never knew you put the money the opposite direction. You know, where the bend in the money is that way. I had it lengthwise that way. Um, next thing I got was this HW Redliner series. Not sure why it's called that. Can you leave it in the comments? Um, I thought they would have been red lines. Um, the real rider tires, that's okay, I guess. I like that they're all metal. Um, I didn't plan on buying the whole series. I just wanted two cars, this one and the Gasser, uh, 70 Dodge Charger RT. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. I, I really like the paint job on it. Um, here's the other cars. I skipped those. And I scanned these at Target. Um, Target has where you can uh, scan it, and it'll tell you there's more in stock. And I asked the employee to check, and I'll show you what else I got. Um, yeah, uh, let's see here. Um, Target in my area and uh, Meyer are the ones that get these. I can't go to Walmart. They never get anything like that. The next thing I got was this one. And people are bidding, like, between 10 to thirty dollars for this on eBay 55 Chevy Bel Air gasser um, I asked for this so I saw employees say, hey do you have any more of these and uh, yeah he, he brought out a whole case and they had two of them my brother bought one 
Yeah, so this is getting opened probably later. I always open everything. Um, it's got some real rider tires. There are treads in the front and slicks in the back. I don't know if that's how it's released. It looks pretty cool. Um, let's see, we got the regular one right here. And that's not the only gasters I got this week. Because I went to Target today and they had the new Red Edition series. So I actually got three gasters this week. Actually, more than three. Yeah. So, we'll take these two. Which one do you like? The red or the white one? I think I like the red one. But, um, yeah, I bought like four of these. Um, I'm keeping two carded and I might use some as trade bait at the toy show, maybe. Um, there, there's supposed to be three cars, I think, in this, uh, red edition series, but there's actually going to be 12 altogether. Um, they're going to release them throughout the years. Maybe they're going to be, like, uh, Zaymac cars, pretty much. But maybe they'll be easier to find. There's actually a third car. Um, this is a 77 Pontiac Firebird red one. Um, I think these cars are just going to be red or white. So I'll, I'll keep my t two, and then I'll do a video um, after I get all 12. But anyways, there was a third car that was supposed to be out at this time. And it was a Corvette. That's the only car I didn't find. I found all the cars that everybody wants, except the Corvette. I don't know, maybe someone really wanted the Corvettes. Because, for some reason, the Red Editions... I mean, the, the Gaster should have been the popular one. Um, next thing I got, this could be in the Red Edition series. But um, it's not. It's a Chevy Silverado. Red and white, pretty cool. I like the white colors. Um, it's one of my favorite on cars. Pretty nice. Um, it's got a black bed. Yeah, looks real nice. Um, next two cars. Um, well, I actually found I got two of these, so I won't show that again. But um, yeah, they had a bunch of these. Um, these were popular at one time, I guess. Um, a few years ago, I bought every last one they had at the dollar store. Um, now I just pretty much ignore them. I only got two of these. These are. 2017 and they're okay um, nothing special anymore to me yeah I think they only changed the wheels on it um, next thing I got is this carbonator they have two I guess for some reason they have two for the New Year's uh, let me see if I can quick find the other one there it is they both say New Year's on it don't know why they would have two um, but here we go. Yeah, they're different. And yeah, you think they would have omitted this one. This one doesn't make any sense to have. If they're going to have that. Or this one they shouldn't have made. I don't know. Which one do you like better? Um, I guess I like the blue one. I'm, I'm, don't really... It doesn't really make a difference to me. But, you know, blue, I like blue, so I might as well say that's my favorite. Um, next one, Volkswagen Koffer Racer. Koff Racer. New edition, so it's going to get a video on its own. Pretty cool. Um, reminds me of the Cruise series. Next thing, I'm not sure if I had it, but I just bought it anyways. Um, I could always return it or something. 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. Pretty cool. I like the colors on it. It's like an Italian flag. Um, I got some more right here. These are all from Target as well. Um, this video is 20 minutes. Um... Porsche 993 GT2. I like the color on it. It was a nice orange. I like that it's metal spoiler. Oop. It has a license plate on it. Actually, they probably added more detail on these. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I think my regular phone actually works better on this. It has a license plate on there. I guess they must have heard people bitching about these. Um, yeah, the the whatchamacallit line, the uh, Matchbox had all detail. Um, this is starting to look pretty good, I guess. Um, it has the lens headlights. Um, let's see, the next thing, um, another Magnus Walker. Not sure how popular these are going to be. Um, there was a Porsche last year that everybody was looking for. Um, now I don't think people give a, you know care about it anymore. Um, this is a Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. It's not a new model. It's just a regular one. 
It's already been released in the line once before. But it's pretty cool though. Um, doesn't have as much tampos as the other one. Oh, damn. Bumped the camera. Um, next thing, another dairy delivery. I probably would have skipped this, but since it was an art car series car, I bought it. And I, I do hang these up on the wall with tack and stick. But um, I don't know if I can even hang this because it's because some of these bigger cars don't stick on the wall even with the good tack and stick. Um, next one, they brought back the Lamborghini series, but I think this car was actually discontinued. Um, but it's okay, I guess. It's in the Tune series. Lamborghini Countach. Um, yeah, I like the white color. Um, I think this one was actually all metal for a long time. Um, uh, I think I have one more car. Um, I didn't buy this because I liked it. I bought it because it was an error. Um, yeah, I don't even know if this was a flipper, if it flipped around in the packaging. This may have been something they did at the factory. Um, I thought these were going to be hard to find. I, I found a bunch of these. I think people just don't like the casting that well. Um... Next thing I got, um, did I do everything? I think I did everything. Did I do these? I think I did. I got this for a dollar at, uh, Walmart on clearance. It's an eraser plus a flash drive. It's already been opened. Um, I tried it out to see if it works. Um, I don't see why you would want to use it as an eraser. Um, but you can use it as a flash drive. I think if you use it as an eraser, you're just going to get it messed up. And store everything from porn to videos and stuff. Yeah, this is a lot different than a regular flash drive because there's usually like a a metal bit over these prongs. Um, nowadays they don't put those on some of the newer ones, but still okay. I got something to show off in the video maybe. Pretty nice. Um, and for some reason I got these in the mail. I didn't order these. I hopefully I didn't get charged for them. Uh, maybe someone sent them to me by mistake. Um, I thought maybe someone on Instagram sent them to me. Um, but um, I don't think so. Um, I asked this question on a Facebook page and someone else said they got cars they didn't order. Um, yeah, so I already got this one. And this one, good thing I didn't technically order these because these are rambling around. I think I have five of these now. Um, I'll probably keep it for the I'll probably keep the uh, card protectors. I showed this off. I'll just show it off again. Boom. And it has a little thing you can put it on a shelf. It's white like that, which is what I usually do. It's got rubbers and red lines. Everybody's favorite. Um, let's see. And the last thing I got, I got in the mail. Um, if you if you uh, buy Coca Cola, you can get you can uh, use the little codes that they have on the packaging, bottle, whatever, and uh, you can trade the points in for like Walmart, Target, Amazon, and that's what I did. I traded this, my Coke points into Amazon points and got this Pokemon trainer deck. I think this is the most recent trainer deck they have. The trainer kit actually has all the stuff you need to start playing. I think you're better off just playing uh, online. You'll learn it a lot better. And it, the bad thing about playing with the online, the rules uh, manipulate you. So, like, say if you've got a card that says poison, it'll do everything for you. But, you, you know, if you play it in real life, you'll probably forget how poison is actually used. Poisons, paralyzed sleep, all those uh, attacks, because you may forget and just start doing whatever you want. Because the computer doesn't um, let, let you do that, you know. What sleep does is, I think it stops it so that you can't attack, or maybe you can't attack them. It does a lot of shit, but if you play Pokemon, you'll understand um, a little more on that. I'll probably uh, do a video alone on this as well. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it has Pikachu Libre, and uh, whatever the hell this one is. Suicune. Um, you got yourself a Pikachu coin. It's plastic, that's what sucks. But, um, anyways, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, this video is going to be 30 minutes and it'll probably take two hours to upload. But, anyways, like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.